Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection April 22, 2021 Thursday The Thursday of the third week of Easter We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Acts. Acts chapter 8 verse 26 to 40. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Kindus, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship, and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shear is silent. So he opened not his mouth, and his humiliation justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself, or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and, beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. And the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Arzotus, and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 66 verse 8 to 9, 16 to 17 and 20 Let our response be, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls, and has not let our feet slip. Response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me, when I appeal to him in words. Praise was on the tip of my tongue. Response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia. John chapter 6 verses 51. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 6 verse 44 to 51. Jesus said to the crowds, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets. They shall all be taught by God. 
Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert. But they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection of Today's Gospel In today's Gospel passage, Jesus teaches that his Father draws one to believe and that those who believe in him have everlasting life. He reiterates the point that he is the bread of life from heaven, and that those who eat this bread, those who listen to and accept his word will not die. How do you understand this? Our prayer is not our own initiative, but is itself a response to God who draws us. God draws me to what is true, to what is life-giving, to what is loving. Lord, you are starting to open to me what the Eucharist can mean, a pledge of eternal life and nourishment for my daily journey as well as the viaticum that will strengthen me for my last journey, to you. We live two lives, the flesh and the spirit, earthly and eternal. Faith in God is life-giving. It gives energy to the everyday, to the commonplace. The struggle to do good and to live a gospel-centered life is nourished by our faith. Prayer is a time to be aware of the life which is eternal. Moments of prayer bring us in touch with the eternal within us, and the eternal around us, the atmosphere of the risen Christ. Jesus lives in the shadow of eternity and calls on our faith that we will live forever. The call of love and the experience of love in life hints at something more than human, of a mystery totally linked to God. The bread of life is the gift of God's life on earth. In opening ourselves to the word of God and the bread of God we are gifted and graced with the love that lasts forever. We were created for nothing in this world. Jesus is constantly pointing us beyond this world to the Father, promising to raise us up on the last day, offering us eternal life. All this is our destiny. It is not some kind of reward for this life, added on, but organically linked to this life and how we live now. We grow towards this new way of living through Jesus. We watch Jesus gradually inviting his hearers to understand what he means by saying that he is the bread of life. First, he opens them up to awareness of their need. Then he offers himself. Am I self-sufficient or do I know my need? Do I hunger for this bread? As blessed as the people in the desert were, even greater blessings are offered to me. I am accompanied on the pilgrimage of my life by the one who feeds me with living bread. I am not called to become familiar with Jesus and admire him. I am invited right into the heart of God. When you feel drawn to something good, it is God who is drawing you. The drawing may be felt as a tug on the heart, or as a good idea. Perhaps it is a kind word that gives courage. God draws me to what is true, to what is life-giving, to what is loving. I am being drawn all the time, and so is everyone else. This is how God works in our world. What is the eternal life which Jesus talks about? It means that we enter a relationship with Him, which deepens as life develops. This relationship will be perfected at the end of our lives, when we will be filled with God, and live with the three divine persons and everyone else forever.